This is our parading for race number four, an overnight test for Pacers. And here's that field. Number one is R. Cullen, owned by David Ryan of Viola. Irvin Miller trains. Andy Miller is driving. Two is Rama Lama Ding Dong, owned by Carol Hayes of Springfield, trained also by Carol Hayes. Brandon Simpson gets the call. Three Solar Way, owned by Floyd Taylor of Mount Erie. Tom Tietrick trains. Tim Tietrick drives. Ford Glimmerman, owned by Dave Snyder of Martinsville. Charles Hollini of Heron. David Snyder, the trainer. Dave McGee, the driver. Five Arts Showcase, owned by Brittany Farms and Valdor Farms of Kentucky and New Jersey. Tex Moats, the trainer. Dale Heitman is in the bike. And number six, Straw Boss, owned by... Kavina Shoemaker by Bernard Rademacher and Grant Wilfong of Indiana. Grant Wilfong trains Tony Morgan behind Straw Boss. Six pacers in only four minutes. Four of the drivers in this race will be shuttling immediately after the race back to Chicago where they will race tonight. They've done that the entire week. Miller, McGee, Heitman, and Morgan. Tietrick will be on his way to Bluegrass Downs where he races tonight. Here they come. They're off and pacing from the outside. Art Showcase for the lead. On the inside, getting out second is R. Cullen. Racing third is Ramalama Ding Dong. Fourth to the inside, Solar Way. Dropped in five, Straw Boss. As they swing around the turn, now he's six. Racing five ahead of him is Glimmerman as they drive toward the quarter mile mark. Racing with the lead, Art Showcase, the three year old Arts Place son, and Dale Heitman. They're on top, length and a half over R. Cullen with Andy Miller. Ramalama Ding Dong dropped in third. He's still there as they reach the quarter mile mark. They'll race past it toward the back stretch. Fourth, anxious to move from there as they head down the backside is Solar Way. Front panel 29 2, still no move as they're single file down the backside. They're, they're being led by Arch Showcase. Second is R. Cullen. Third, Rama Lama Ding Dong. Now the move by on the outside, Glimmerman. Here he comes, ranging up for McGee. He's on fire on the outside. Was fifth, then fourth, now third, now second, and there goes Glimmerman powering toward the front. And he's alongside the leader. As he reached the half-mile mark, the new leader will be Glimmerman. McGee has him in front by a length, a length and a half. He'll drop to the inside. Art Showcase now second the half in 59 seconds. And also ranging up on the outside as they race into the upper turn comes Straw Boss. Racing fourth as they head around the turn and the race toward three quarters is R. Cullen behind him, Ramalama Ding Dong. As they approach the three quarter mile mark, now he trails to the outside, moving up comes Solar Way, he's fifth. And racing with the lead by a neck at the uh, three quarter mile juncture is Glimmerman on the outside. There's Straw Boss second, and right behind him, Solar Way ready to come three wide for T Trick. No place to go for Art Showcase. He's buried fourth along the rail. They were there in 126 4. They're at the top of the lane. As they turn for home, Glimmerman has the lead, and behind him, they're fanning out five wide. They're coming from everywhere. Here comes Art Showcase. He gets shook loose on the lead. Glimmerman challenging Art Showcase. Third, Art Cullen. Four Straw Boss. They drive to the wire. Inside, Glimmerman will give Snyder his fourth win of the week. Glimmerman wins it. Art Showcase was second. Photo for third between R. Cullen and Straw Boss. Final check to Solar Way. Six was Ramalama Ding Dong. That one, 153, four fifths. 153, four fifths. Four wins on the week for trainer Dave Snyder. And here's the most recent winner from the Snyder Stable, owned by Dave and by Charles Hellini of Heron, with Dave McGee in the bike, 153 4 fifths, Glimmerman. Glimmerman moves into victory lane for the Entourage, the ownership group from Heron, Illinois, and Martinsville. Winner, a four-year-old nuclear legacy gelding from the Nihilator mother, Nyla Charm. This mile, 153.4, just off his lifetime best. <laughs>